So number 10 says that we have five pounds, oh, pounds per square inch. And we want to know how many milligrams per millimeter squared. Do you guys want to try that one on your own? Yeah. Yeah. Try it on your own. See what you do. And while you're working it out, don't don't peek up here. I'm going to be working it out. Okay, so no, no peek. Stephanie, if you get this second one right, I'll be amazed. Okay. <laughs> and it doesn't matter which one you start with. If you want to start with the inches, you may. You don't have to do what I'm doing. So 10 to the 1. Just curious. I think. Because Sente is 10 to negative 2, Millie is 10 to negative 3, so it would move the decimal one time. That's all right. I like good jokes. I just won't tell you any chemistry jokes in here. A neutron walks into a bar. No, I'm not doing it. They're lame. You're not doing it. No. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> yeah, but. How do you do? Um, well, go ahead. Would you just do 10 squared then instead of 10? So remember that whenever we're outside, do you add or do you multiply the exponents? Do you add them? Do you multiply? You multiply them. If you do something like this, um, Oh, flip, flip, put it inside. <laughs> then we add the exponents. Okay. okay. In this case, it's multiplying. So 1 times 2 is still 2, so hopefully it's 100. Okay. So either one of those, I had... 3,518.507037. Good, bad. Am I way off? What did you okay. say again? Right here. 3,500. Oh, that is not Here's how I would type it in. So, 5 times, oh, I don't remember if I did that. Yeah, I did. Uh, 454 times. Oh, wait. I have a question. Yeah. Why did you square the. The one before the last one? Like Where? The Here? Because yeah. it's squared. I thought you didn't oh. Yeah, I do the linear relationship, then I go and square the unit and the number. So since it was squared here, we have to square the, the unit and the number. Oh, that's what I This is one way to type it in. Obviously not the only way to type it in. 